What's up YouTube, this is Big Mike, and uh, this is a video that I'm doing because of uh, Quest X, uh, Lover's Channel, he asked me to give my thoughts about the LeVar Ball, uh, well really Lonzo Ball, that's really his shoe, but my take on uh, the shoe situation, and um, um I think of it as, okay, from the father's perspective, I understand it. I wanted to have control of the merchandising, control, of, most importantly, of the profits or the potential profits of the shoe. Um, my issue is, I understand it completely, you know, uh, like Stefan Marbury I saw when I was reading about it, Stefan Marbury uh, wanted more control of the uh, shoe that he put out there a couple of years ago, uh, my issue just was with the design of the shoe, I didn't think it was a nice shoe, uh, but this is the thing, From a business standpoint, individually, it makes sense. But the strategy that he's using is stupid. Um, Lonzo Ball is not Michael Jordan. Okay? I don't even care if he's Michael Jordan. Most people are not going to pay $500 for a, a shoe. Okay? Um, especially for a guy who I'm not even convinced is going to become a star NBA player. The pressure on... This kid has to be monumental, unprecedented. I mean, unprecedented, man. I mean, it has to be at a level that even LeBron James didn't feel coming to the NBA. I remember when LeBron James came to the NBA. He was expected to be no less than a top 25 all-time player. If he didn't reach that crescendo, if he didn't reach that plateau of being at least a top 25 all-time player... His career would have been a disappointment. So actually, he exceeded expectations. The way that LeVar Ball is promoting his son, saying that he's already better than Stephen Curry, who I think is ooh, at least a top 60 player right now, maybe top 50 because of the two MVPs. But if you're saying that he's better than him, you're projecting your son to become a top 50 all-time player, at the very least. That's pushing it, man. Uh, and I look at the shoe, and there's something off with it. Like, it's it, there's something missing from it. The color scheme isn't that bad. I don't like the orange on it a little bit, but I don't see what is so appealing about that shoe for it to cost $250, let alone $500. Another thing, with Stefan Marbury, when he came out with his independent brand, uh, with his shoe, which he put out there to be affordable. That was the pull. Uh, his shoe was, it showed uh, concern for the consumer, that shoe, shoe prices were getting out of hand. Um, LeVar, he's basically talking down to his audience. Well, he's trying to shame you into buying his shoe. Well, if you can't afford this shoe, then you're not a baller. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean... The thing about Jordans and uh, other, you know, other shoes like that, Nike, Reebok, these shoes are part of the American fabric, American culture, okay, to the point where people will look past uh, the, the, you know, even people who are poor, they'll look past the temporary financial hardship because, you know, they have to have this shoe because this it, that shoe, it, it's more than just that shoe. It's part of you know, uh, who they are is part of what they represent.
to him or her. This shoe that LeVar Ball is putting out there for his son, it has no connection with people. That that doesn't, to me, I don't think it's going to be successful. Um, and I'm going to tell you something else, too. I think that if his son does not have, I don't want to hear any excuses. I don't want to hear that he's young. I don't hear any of this stuff because his father is constantly putting up checks that, you know, putting out these ungodly checks that his son is not going to be able to cash. And I'm sorry. I'm, if the media is killing this guy, it's deserved. If they kill his son, he can't get mad because you've been talking and talking and talking and talking, which is good because you're living through your delusions of grandeur that you didn't fulfill in your own playing career through your sons. And your sons are talented, but are they LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Stephen Curry? They have to earn that. Okay, so a shoe that's $495, $500, and your son hasn't played one game in the NBA? Nah, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't see anybody buying that shoe, man. He, he's not loved like that. Okay, LeBron James is an icon. You, you, might, you guys might hear me say some stuff about him or whatever, but LeBron James is, is to me, a top five all-time player at least. He's earned that. Kobe Bryant earned that. He's a top 15 player. Some people haven't ranked higher than that. Michael Jordan, arguably the greatest. LeVar Ball, excuse me, Alonzo Ball. This guy might be a bust. I'm not sold on him. I'm not paying five hundred dollars for a guy who might be a bust. And it, like I said, the shoe doesn't seem to be all that uh, aesthetically pleasing to me. Uh, I don't see how this shoe is going to make me a better basketball player. Okay, that should be something he should be talking more about. How this shoe help my game, or help my comfort, or help you know my Achilles tendon, or or any type of foot problem I have, you know. Maybe have, he should have this shoe be uh, recommended by a podiatrist or something. Like, I mean, th- th- you trying to tell me if I, don't, if I don't get this shoe, I'm not a baller? Kiss my ass, Lamar. Or LeVar, whatever the hell your name is. The guy's a flash in the pan, man. He'll be a who a has been probably in two or three years, man. Um, as for his son, I think his son will be an okay player, man, but... I'm not convinced that he's going to be <laughs> in the league of a LeBron James. I'm I'm sorry. I mean, that's the level that you have to play at when you're being marketed like this. Okay. You have to play. If you're not putting up, especially if he's on a team that doesn't have any talent around him, if this guy's not putting up 25 points and six rebounds and six assists or something like that, and um, I don't want to hear anything about this guy. You know, I don't want to hear no growing pains. I don't want to hear anything about adjustments to the NBA game. I don't want to hear anything about any of that crap. So that's my take on it, man. Tell me what you guys think.